Hi, hey, Paul. Hey, how's it going? Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I can't shut up. I've got to ask you questions. Okay, go on, ask, ask. How important do you find internships? Um, I think internships are really important for the course that we're doing. So for journalism, it's really important that you kind of go out there and you make contacts and you kind of show what you can do as well. Um, I don't think they're so important for, for a guy, for a boy or a girl, because uh, I always try to uh, avoid doing an internship since uh, you're exploited, you work as hard as an employer. Um, unfortunately, it's too important. It's kind of frustrating because you do all these NCJ courses, then you go to university for three years and you think, well, that's enough. You know, must be allowed to be a journalist now. Now you've got to go and do an internship with the BBC. Like, Just let me do my job. Would you pay for an internship? No. no. <laughs> Why would you pay for an internship? Um, because I think it's difficult enough when you're not getting paid for them in the first place, let alone then paying for one. No, I think that system is completely flawed. It's designed to keep working class people down and let only the rich kids from the rich families into the media and that's why so many newspapers are run by Oxbridge graduates from Eton and Harold the Hill and Dulwich schools and they just don't want to share it with us. The only case where I think I, I would make an exception is if they offer really good training. It's really difficult man, that's a difficult one to say. Right now I find it hard, a hard enough bitter pill to swallow um, funding my own expenses to and fro internship sometimes. Do you think it's fair that you should have to pay to get your dream internship? I don't think it's fair because not everyone can afford um, to buy an internship, which actually sounds ridiculous. I think everyone should have the same chances and should be, should be treated equally.